Good morning and welcome to your daily operations weather briefing. Well, last night we began to uh, get some heavier rain showers in the area and we're going to continue to see some of those heavy rain showers throughout the morning hours today and maybe into the afternoon as well. Looking at the current surface analysis, you can see that frontal boundary just uh, pretty much draped right over top of the Wallops region this morning, maybe a little bit to the south of our area. And we're seeing lots of moisture feed into the uh, Delmarva Peninsula this morning associated with this, this weather pattern that we've had over the last couple of days with the continuous southerly flow. We're also seeing an impulse at the upper levels moving along the uh, frontal boundary into our area, which is uh, really helping to assist in these heavier rain showers this morning. I want to take a look at the infrared satellite and uh, some of the higher cloud tops that we see currently over the area right now, uh, moving through the region, some of these heavier showers um, off to our north in the uh, areas of uh, Salisbury and into uh, southern um, Maryland eastern shore areas this morning. You see here on the radar some of these heavier showers uh, just off to our north. We had one cell that was moving just to the uh, northwest of Wallops that actually uh, put off a lightning strike about 13 or 14 miles to our west northwest and as a result we are under a lightning advisory currently. Uh, not under a lightning warning at this time where we do not have any lightning within the 10 mile radius but uh, we will continue to uh, monitor this storm and uh, issue a lightning warning if we do see some of the uh, lightning strikes enter the 10 mile radius here at Wallops. Looking at our uh, high resolution short term model here over the next uh, few hours you can see uh, continuing to show development of these showers throughout the uh, morning hours and then as we get to about the noontime hour we could see a little bit of a break in the action before the uh, potential of some more showers filling back into the uh, region during the afternoon hours uh, especially during the mid to late afternoon. Looking at the current weather uh, current weather observation we do see those low clouds with the moderate to heavier rain showers uh, continuing with the, just the uh, ceiling of only 200 feet this morning. Visibility is down to two miles with those heavier rain showers as well. Winds out of an east-northeast direction at four knots. Temperature at 67 degrees and our humidity at 97 percent. So over the course of the next 24 hours we're going to continue to see these showers and potential thunderstorms over the region. We are uh, looking at the highest probability for thunderstorm activity to occur uh, between now and 10 a.m. with about a 45 percent chance of uh, seeing a thunderstorm here at Wallops. After 10, uh, 10 a.m. this morning we're going to see the uh, chances go down to about 20 percent and then the chances will drop even farther down to about 15 percent after the noontime hour. Uh, but we will continue to see the uh, threat for some scattered uh, rain showers, possibly heavy at times, through about 4 o'clock this afternoon carrying that 10% chance of a uh, embedded thunderstorm or two through the 8 p.m. hour, uh, looking at between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. Uh, at about a 10% chance. After 8 p.m. this evening, we'll see most of the rain activity moving out of the area, and we'll see uh, just some scattered showers here and there after 8 p.m., and then likely not see uh, much rainfall at all after midnight hour tonight. Looking ahead to uh, the forecast for Saturday and Sunday, we're going to see cloudy skies continuing, especially for the morning hours of Saturday with areas of fog during the morning. We'll see a chance of a few showers and a possible thunderstorm during the afternoon with a daytime high of 75 degrees. For Saturday night, cloudy with a slight chance of a few showers during the early evening hours. Cloudy skies continuing through the overnight hours with a low of 62. And for Sunday, mostly cloudy skies with a very slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm during the afternoon. Again, that'll be mostly confined to the afternoon hours for Sunday. It looks like a low probability for uh, thunderstorm activity, just a uh, about a 20 to 25 percent chance of a rain shower or two during the afternoon on Sunday with a daytime high temperature of 77 degrees. Well, that'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. with a full look at your extended forecast. Have a nice morning.